Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Scare Canarium. So, now that we're in the f what will probably be the final episode, I'm not sure how long this game is. I'm gonna try to make it the final episode. My hair is looking so weird there. But, yeah, uh, yikes. I'm going to try and make this the final episode as long as it's not taking an hour or two just to get to the end. But I definitely want to see the story. Now, the phone or walkie talkie call said don't take the same path they took. I don't know what path they took. I'm kind of scared to just wander into any path and then die. That would actually suck. Any of these walls, like, want to give me a clue as to where they went? I don't think it's that way. I'm guessing this is the side that I came up on. Yeah, I would guess that's where the submarine was. That came out this way. What about this way? Is there anything over here? Uh, oh, okay. Vision time, I guess. As I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Oh, huh. golems. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. Okay, so we had a race of lizard people worshipping whichever eldritch horror that is. And they had four robots. Okay. Hmm. I can't move it. The ice on the track has obstructed the movement. Can I break the ice? Uh, what's the button that lets me be my tools? There we go. Yeah. You mean it won't budge? Break that thing. That one too. Break all of them. Alright, now can I move it? If I so chose. Is there a point to doing this? Lit up a thing. What if I do this though? Did I do a thing? Maybe I did a thing. Looks like I did a thing. Things are lit up. I don't know what I just did. I will assume that this is something important. Have the axe handy. Flashlight and axe. No axe. Boy, I hope I did the right thing. Maybe they went that way?
What's this? A thing. Okay. Oh, it's just sitting there. Okay, there's a thing here. I don't like this. Hmm. Lizard people. And a mummy. Okay. What do I even do with this information? Okay. It spins this thing around? But for what purpose? Why? Why would one want to spin this thing around? Okay, let me go investigate this thing. Turn, 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 turn. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. Oh. I'm missing a crystal. Okay, so maybe my crystal goes on the other end. Flip it around then. Spin down, buddy. Come on. Oh, okay, so my crystal doesn't go there. I'll have the X at the ready. Or not. Or maybe. Ah, not while running. I see. Okay. So where did these guys go? Talking about don't take the same path we took, but then you don't tell me what path you took. Can't really get a good read on these guys. Alright, well. Guess we'll go this way. Oh, the path's merge into here anyway. My crystal go here? crystal goes here. But what does my crystal do? Oh. Okay. Makes the plants go away. <gasps> Memories of lizard people? Strange. Okay, well. symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant the symbol on this stone is illegible There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone is illegible. Does that apply for all of them? The 
There's no glyph on this stone. I don't remember this symbol. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Hmm. I don't remember this symbol. The symbol on this stone is illegible. I don't remember this symbol. That glyph doesn't ring. Do you like bells. not remember any sigils? The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. I don't remember this symbol. Okay, so you just don't remember any of them. Okay, so... Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Dead end room, lovely. Okay, so clearly I'm missing something. But I don't know exactly what. Let's see. Oh, hey. This stone works. Pink. 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 Break through this rock real quick. By real quick, I mean really slowly, apparently. Oh, I found a secret. So this has nothing to do with the story, it's just a secret. Let's break through this rock real quick. What's inside? Get out of my way, rock. Alright, what do we got? An ornamental metallic heart engraved with the sand rock stone depicting an elder thing carving or figure in the center interesting all right i'm gonna do some research see what i can find out okay so after doing some extensive research one i'm definitely not finishing this ep this game in this episode there is still easily an hour to two worth of gameplay left it, it, it's got that much. Okay, this is the entrance. I'm just trying to orient myself again. But... It, it's not going to be that easy. It's not going to be that quick. So, Let's Scare will definitely be going on for at least another week or two. However, I did figure out the way I'm supposed to be going. Let's see. So I should be going this way. Actually, back into this room. Let's see. Not that way. But this way. But yeah. I didn't spoil anything puzzle-wise, story-wise. I didn't spoil any of that stuff. I refuse to spoil stuff for like that for myself. However. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. That is what I needed to trigger, so that way I knew what to do next. We're actually going to take this rock here. And go ahead and place that over at the weird telescope looking thing that we saw earlier. Let's see. We need to go down this way. 
Yeah, because honestly, certain games like these, I love them in terms of, oh, you gotta play around and figure out what you wanna do or figure out what has to be done. But when they don't give you even like the remotest kind of hint as to what that thing is, I love open-ended games like this, but I also would hate to be stuck in the same puzzle room for two, three, four hours because I missed a minute detail. So I'm not knocking the game. I'm more like knocking myself because I just didn't realize, oh, that's a symbol that you've seen before. Because he even said it himself. He's like, I don't recognize the symbol. I'm like, how am I supposed to recognize any of these symbols? Do is you take that crystal and you plonk the thing in here. And you run back. And got a bing bada boom bobs your uncle. It's gonna spin right back. I can't move. Hmm. That's a thing now. Um. Okay. Ooh. Now that is pretty. That is actually super pretty. I tried placing the reddish crystal into the still clean tip of an odd metallic device and it fitted perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position using the control handle, this glyph was projected onto the wall. A diagram consisting of several symbols. I mean, just one symbol, but okay. So let's go ahead and leave now. Not much we could do with that now. Now the question is, where do I go from here? See, this is why I avoid doing these spoilers, so that way I don't, you know, try to find something that I didn't have yet or anything of the sort. Were those lit before? I don't think they were. I right through that? No? Okay. Uh, is there a rock in here I can break through? Yes. Yes. Break. Come on. All the way. Down you go. No more. Demand freedom. Let me through. Um, that's not scary at all. Oh, it's a trophy item. That's pretty neat. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know where we are. Hold on. I refuse to do this wrong. No, no, no. Pausing. Pause. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, this is a, apparently this is really frustrating part in the game. This is that part, I think, if I'm remembering it right. Hold on. I need to... I need to look at this again. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not doing this the wrong way. Now, there is no... Technically, there's no wrong way. But I don't want to do it and then have to do it again. So, one moment. Okay, nope. It's not this one. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, 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 
Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Oh God, what was that all about? A vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Blood? So since I now know that this game is going to be much longer than I originally anticipated, I'm going to go ahead and put the kibosh on it here for today, guys. This will be the Afro Lad signing out. Oh, hi. I got to go back for that light thing, huh? Yup, that's what I'm going to have to do. All right. Uh, now it actually makes sense to go back and get that thing. But yeah, I'll go back, get the light, come back here. We'll go through this in the next episode. Now, the thing that I was kind of freaking out about is there's a sequence of events that involves you running away from that same thing that was chasing you here. Like, this weird vision that he just had. Yeah, that's going to happen in the future. In one of the episodes. If they catch you, you die. And I'm, I'm not about to do that mess because I, I want to get through this the one time. Do it one time for the one time and we good. But yeah, so... uh. We'll do that in the next episode, guys. Hopefully. I This game has got a, a good heft to it. I thought it was a lot shorter. Turns out I was wrong. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Canarium. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful Halloween. I will catch you all here next time. Have a great day, everyone.